So we're here on Shelburne Farms in Shelburne, Vermont for my life history study of bobblings and savanna sparrows where we try to understand how hay farming and pasture management affects the entire lives of these birds. Everything from their reproduction to their survival and migration. Our main goal is to document all of the breeding activity of these birds, so figure out um, where are they breeding, who are they breeding with, how many times are they breeding, are they breeding here one year, are they breeding here subsequent years, and then using that data to answer all sorts of different questions. Two, two, eight, three, two. It's been amazing for me to work with these landowners here and that they've really listened to the science. And when the science is said, these are ways that if you make small changes in your management, you will farm more bobolinks and more savanna sparrows, and they've looked at that relative to their production and said, okay, you know, this could work for me. It really is amazing to me. They're, they're not very big birds, and the, 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 the journey that they make to Argentina and then coming back to, to Shelburne every year is really amazing. So I kind of feel a little bit of responsibility of providing them with a place that they, they, they can come back to. Um, so what we're about to do is we're going to put a playback on. Um, it essentially um, mimics there being another male at the nest. And so he gets territorial, he comes in to check it out, make sure his babies are okay, and hopefully in the process we catch him. I want the students to understand science and how science happens. Uh, the whole inquiry process, the process of collecting data, and then what do you do with that data and how you get it out to the broader world through publication, through really careful, thoughtful analysis and hypothesis testing. I would say that UNE is a really good place for environmental studies, environmental science, because so many of their classes are hands-on. Opportunities like this where you can work with a faculty member on their research and you really are out in the field, you are catching the birds, you are handling the birds, and that is something that you do not always get a chance to experience elsewhere. And I think if you're interested in something like this and you're not quite sure if it's for you, the only thing you can do is try and, and see how it goes.